Good morning. My name is Don, and I'm going to show you this 2-inch PVC uh, gold trap. Uh, I made a first video of it, and the only thing that's changed is the discharge end a little bit. Uh, you can go to YouTube and see the first one. It's kind of long and boring. I apologize for that. But one of the guys in the comments asked me a question, if this could be used to separate black sand from gold. And uh, I thought it could, and today I'm going to run a test. Uh, I've mixed some gold. Uh, I'll show you, uh, cut in some little splices of video. Of, I mixed about uh, 20 plus grains of gold uh, into the black sand. I've got about 25 pounds of it. I'm going to turn on this little system here and go ahead and run it and start feeding a little bit. And then I'll shut it down and I'm going to go ahead and uh, weigh out the gold, dry out the black sand, and weigh out the black sand and see if the I'm hoping that the 25 pounds of black sand to be reduced to one or two pounds at the end of the day and then I'll capture uh, a very, very large percentage of the gold. Time will tell. Anyway, let me turn this thing on, feed a little black sand into it, uh, and then I'll go to part two of the video. Uh, stay with me. By the way, I went ahead and measured, and the little pump that uh, I put a bucket under the discharge, just like you see right there, and measured how long it was taking, 53 seconds. So I'm pumping just a little over, a little over five and a half, not quite six gallons per minute. If this pump rate doesn't uh, move most of the black sand out, I may have to increase the pump rate. Uh, well, this ultimately could work, but the flow pump rate you see in the in the tub right there, uh, it built up a couple inches higher. That five and a half uh, gallons per minute is probably not high enough. I'm going to change out my pumps and put in my thousand gallon per hour pump uh, and continue on again. Uh, that would be the worst case scenario for uh, saving gold, but uh, the good test is it'll be the same rate that I normally run when I'm just running regular dirt. So uh, I'll shut down again and hook up my other pump and continue on. All right, I'm back. It took about 10 minutes to go ahead and uh, run the black sand, and I've let it run about another 10 minutes longer. It was continuing to discharge some black sand. Now I'm going to shut it down, empty the PVC gold trap, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and shut down again for a while, dry out the uh, sand and gold and separate it and classify it again and compare it to the results uh, that went into the system at the start of it all. So let me shut her down. needs to do is just pour off a little bit of the water. I go ahead and I break this rubber coupling. Go ahead and pour a little water in to rinse it out.
do the same thing for the other side. Pretty easy clean out compared to most little recirculating sluices. And I'm just going to show you the black sand. I probably have a cup or two of it. I'm going to go ahead and dry this out. Uh, then separate using a magnet to get the black sand and then uh, pan the gold and I'll give you the results in a, on a next video clip here coming up shortly. Well I'm back. Thanks for your patience. So anyway, give you the final results. Uh, I put in 10.15 grains of gold that was larger than 50 mesh and less than 20 mesh. I got back 10.15 grains exactly. Uh, so I got 100% of the, I quote, large gold. Of the gold that I put in that was less than 50 mesh, I don't know what the lower end is. It's just everything that went through a 50 mesh classifier. I put in 13.35 grains. I got back 11.75. So I had a recovery of 88% on the gold that was 50 mesh and smaller. Uh, that's not entirely unexpected, uh, but for less than 50 mesh gold, pumping with a pump at 12 gallons per minute, uh, that's still, I think, a pretty good recovery. Uh, for those folks who aren't, quote, professional prospectors and somebody who wants to just go out and uh, build a little PVC trap and put a bilge pump on it, uh, you can still have a pretty good amount of fun and get pretty doggone good recoveries. I would say even though I lost 12% of the less than 50 mesh gold, I would think that would be comparable to probably or possibly even better than what you would get on other short recirculating uh, systems, uh, little sluices uh, that you have to start and shut down all the time. Uh, it'd be, be real interesting to, for someone to do a comparison of some of those fancy hog mats and uh, cubes and everything else. To, to see what they get. But anyway, those are the results. 100% of the 20 mesh and larger gold, 88% uh, of everything 50 mesh and below, and I reduced the black sand uh, from 25 pounds down to 1 pound. So was able to concentrate the, blacks, uh, the black sand concentrates uh, as well. Anyway, that's all for this uh, YouTube video. If you want to look at my other YouTube video where I show some of the uh, set up a much longer boring video. Uh, look for the PVC 2 inch nerd gold trap. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good day. Bye.